Do you think it's going to go well with the Jews in the United States or anywhere else in the world? When they're trying to pass even Sharia law in the United States? I mean, come on, wake up! You know, people need to wake up what's going on. My brothers in Israel, you need to wake up. Erev Tov Harim, my name is Stephen ben Danun, and you're watching Israel Live. The rocket shelling continues from Gaza into southern Israel, and of course Israel continues to answer in response with the Israeli Air Force on strikes in Gaza, keeping the tensions heightened and nerves on edge to say the least. Uh, also in other news, uh, John Kerry, who is who has uh, said on Israel National News, it's a mistake for Israel to demand recon recognition. Uh, he says, I think it's a mistake for some people to be raising it again and again as a decider of their attitude towards the possibility of a state and peace. We've obviously, he says, uh, made that clear. Kerry told the House Committee on Foreign Affairs on Thursday when asked to clarify the official position of the Obama administration on the issue according to the uh, Breitbart, web, uh, according to the Breitbart website. He further said the issue was resolved in 1947 when UN Resolution 181, which divided Palestine into a Jewish state and an Arab state, was passed. This resolution, said Kerry, referred to Jewish state several times. Well, you know, the odd thing is, is the British mandate before this uh, Article 181 in 1947 give Israel much more land, including the West Bank, Gaza, and even parts of Jordan, Jor uh, that is known as Jordan today. So I guess Mr. Kerry needs a little education in history as well. Quite frankly, we should oust them all, including John Kerry from the Mideast peace process. The best peace is for the Palestinian people to live in peace amongst their own people in the other Arab lands, the 22 nations that are, that are in the Middle East. Plenty of land for them to go to, but it seems that even their own people do not want them. But yet the rhetoric coming from the Middle East to wage war against Israel and to wipe them off the face of the map has intensified everywhere. I'm Stephen Ben Danun with Israel Live. Good evening. <laughs>